Why does this happen to me every time? Why? Why? the full play of part three hey guess what so uh lo and behold once again i just did the whole fucking video and then the game audio was fucked up so i was like great oh shit hang on dominoes this year i'll be right back it's a long story but i'll be right back give me a second oh my god i'm got a large Brooklyn style pizza with pepperoni. Oh, oh. Mm. so good. Put these headphones back on. Okay. Right. Full play, part three. Oh. So I did the whole video, and then my game audio was fucked up. So, yeah, I could have put the fucking video out with no game audio, but then it would have sucked shit. Because this game sucks shit with no game audio. You ain't got no fucking style. You ain't got no pizzazz. You ain't got no flair. So my only choice, of course, is to do the whole fucking video all over again. So that's what I'm doing. So at the end of the video, right after it ended, and I was done, right? Like, I'm done. I finished it. I ordered Domino's Pizza because that's what I was going to have for dinner. And now it just showed up. And here I am at the beginning of the fucking video again. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Ugh. But anyway, let's move on. So, now that I have that drill ability, you want to head back to the beginning here, as I'm doing in the video that you can see with your own two fucking eyeballs, and you want to drill that boulder to free this giant fucking goldfish. You can't really see him because the camera's angled and you see his little tail. There you go. He's like fucking... He's like a third of the size of Banjo. It's a, it's a pretty big goldfish, I'll be honest. But you pick him up and you just drag his ass all the way to the water over here. I like this ability. It's really cool. One, because it's extremely useful. And two, it's, I think, the only ability in the game you get that's not taught to you by jam jars. There's another, like, secret thing you can get with Kazooie, which I'll get to. But this one is super easy to miss. So all you gotta do is this. And then you get increased air bubbles. And you get the ability to uh, do the breaststroke or the kazoo stroke, whatever the fuck this is called, and hold the A button at the same time. So you're just hauling buttholes underwater. You're like, da -da 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 -da, swimming, fucking swimming, down, 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 swimming, down, 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 down. And then you'll do that. So now that I got that, I'm gonna head back and uh, let's fucking get everything, shall we? Okay, so I still can't finish World 2 because I need to, just like World 1, I need to get abilities from later in the game to finish it. But we can get everything in the level except for two Jiggies and one Jinjo, which I believe we actually have uh, the four out of five Jinjos already. So we're good. We're ginged up. You know, we are locked, loaded, and uh, ready to go. Woo woo! Now, before I go to the Wooded Hollow to go back to the first level so we can get the last Jiggy, I'm just going to head over here real quick because I didn't do this at the end of the last part. Now, you collect the honeycomb, um, like the empty honeycomb pieces, as I mentioned, because they it give you, and there's one right over here. It's like I just made this video. They give you, uh, what the fuck? God damn it. I'm not going to have enough. You son of a bitch. All right, I'll do it at the end anyway. Um... No, wait, I lied. I will have enough. I think I only need four. Um, they ge they increase your maximum health, but the way it worked in the first game was every time you got six, it just increased automatically. In this game, you actually have to take them to this bee, this bee lady. <coughs> Sorry, some pizza. And you basically buy the upgrades. And they start off cheap, and basically just they just cost more and more to upgrade them. I think four gets you... Um, the first two health increases. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. She's like, you got enough for two. Perfect. Perfect. So, might as well increase my health before I go back into the level, right? And then you need five more for the next one. So, I won't be able to come back here until I do two more levels anyway. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's actually a huge fucking help to increase your honeycombs by two. 
So thanks, game. Okay. So we could jump into Glitter Gulch Mine, but then we'd run into the same problem that I did last time. Uh, there's a fucking Jinjo around here somewhere because he's wh he's wrestling. That was a combination of whistling and wrestling. Where are you? I just I just want to fucking see you because you're yelling. Eh, I don't give a shit. I'll find you later. Dude, fuck the hub world, okay? You're lucky I can wrap my mind around the actual levels each part, which I really can't, as demonstrated. Um, I'm gonna be a mess with the hub world. Like, I don't know where shit is. I don't wanna fucking go up there. God damn it. I'm one jiggy short. Son of a bitch. If I had one more, I could just do it now. But I don't, so I can't. Okay. Head over to the prison compound. So first we'll get the final jiggy in world one. That will completely finish this world so there'll be nothing left to collect. And then we can bust that rock and we'll go directly into the second level. Which will also net us a jiggy and just put us in the fucking level so we don't gotta dick around no more. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. This is, this is also why I'm redoing this, because a lot of my commentary when I have nothing to say, which is a lot of the time, resorts to me going dun, 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 with the game music. Don't make no sense if you can't hear the game. Don't make no sense. Nope, that's not it. You want to find the one with the, with the jigsaw piece on it, so just whack your face into it. Ow, but not into that guy. And then the game will let you know by going dun, 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 like that. Nope, that wasn't it. Just keep looking. Nope, there it is. Now, once you hit that, all you have to do is just continue hitting all of these pillars in a counterclockwise pattern. And it'll just keep bumping it, as you see, from the top on down. Um, the first time I did this, or whatever, when I played it when I was a kid, I'm a fucking idiot, and I didn't realize that. So, like, I just hit it the one time, and I couldn't fucking figure out how to get up there. It confused the shit out of me. I was like, it's impossible! I would hit one thing and then run up to the top and try and get the jigsaw piece. You can't get it that way! Unless you can. Someone's gonna say that you can get it and then show you getting it that way, which, you know, whatever. Do it this way. It's easier. Look at this. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. That's like a guy who just did this. It's like a guy who just did this. Because I just did this. It's fine. We're pros at it now, though. All right, so that's every single jigsaw piece collected in World 1. Uh, we are one, like, tenth of the way or something. There's probably nine worlds. If it's anything like the first game, there's gonna be nine worlds and then... There, because there's like 10 jiggies in each world, and then there's 10 in the overworld. But, I mean, every world in this game and the overworld is about 100,000 times bigger than the first game. So that really doesn't mean shit. But at least we have one level done. Yay for progress! Until this video fucks up too. And then I'm really fucked, and now my pizza's getting cold. This is bullshit. It's fucking Saturday night, it's 11.15 at night, and here I am doing this shit again. But now we're in the prospector's hut, remember this shit? Get out of town. The fucking guy came home. Hey, Dilberto. I mean, the chick came home because it's a chick, not a guy. I'm gonna call for some victory pizza. Yeah. Woohoo! I am tired of shit. I've been taking NyQuil all day. Michael, why would you take NyQuil during the day? Take DayQuil. Because it's Saturday, dude. Take NyQuil. Feel better. Take a nap. You know? And repeat over and over again. Problem is, I came in and do a let's play. Sorry, full play. Very different. And I'm like, high energy. We need high energy. I had the highest energy of high. And, uh, now I gotta redo it. My pizza. My pizza. It's okay, I'll heat it up. Oh, yeah. I just got the shit out of my honeycomb piece. You see that shit? Dude, I got it. You can say that I didn't get it. But I totally got it. I'm gonna blaze through this son of a bitch. The blood! Oh. Alright, we're heading here. I think this is the poison room with the bird in it. There it is. Oh. Ooh. That pizza's a little sharp. A little sharp. The crust got sharp. It's so fucking delicious. <sighs> Watch it down with some Mountain Dew. This full play, not sponsored by Mac. The computer that uses Final Cut 7 and totally fucked me on that last video that you're never going to see because it's because it's this video. He's flying back to the beginning! Dude, I'm going to eat my pizza. I'm going to shit. I'm so glad I can't skip any of this shit. I mean, why would I want to? 
It's so captivating. Look at it. But seriously, look at my air bubbles, though. That's impressive as shit. Just breathe. Okay, so now the bird will go back to the beginning of the level, which is right over this way. A good way to get your bearings together where the hell you are, especially in this level, is when you see this rope, you know this is the beginning. Like, this is a starting point. And speaking of which, while we're here... Do, 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 do. Oh, are you leaving? No! Fucking getting some Cheeto bitches! So I guess now that I have five, I unlock one cheat. I'm not gonna go talk to him, because I just don't give a shit right now. But I will later. I'm also gonna run into the fuel storage. I was waiting because I couldn't see the sign yet and I can't read so good. Because I never came in here last time. And usually I come all over the place. Like, I leave a goddamn mess. This is some shit that is uh, used in the next level, I think. I think it's World 3. So it's basically the same deal where if you don't do the shit in this level, you can't get a jiggy in the next level. So, of course, it's a fucking TNT plunger thing I missed. So maybe I'll pop back here at the end and, uh, oh, and fucking get that. But maybe I won't at this point. I don't give a fuck. I was just going to come in and record it tomorrow. I'm like, God damn it. I guess, oh, I'll just redo it on Sunday morning. But you know what? No. I'm not going to let the game get the better of me. Fuck you. I'll do it right now. I'll fucking eat my pizza while I play. I'll get 100 goddamn notes. By the way, I got 100 notes. I'm done with all the notes in this level. I need two more uh, honeycomb pieces and one more uh, Cheeto page. Okay. So I'm going to race this foo, Canary Mary. I always thought Canary Mary kind of looked like a dude a little bit. That's just me. And not just a male bird. It looks like a dude in a bird suit. That thing doesn't look like a bird at all. It's clearly like a human wearing some sort of outfit. That, that's what it looks like. It's fucking creepy as shit, but whatever. So this thing can be hard as shit if you don't know what the hell you're doing. But Michael, you simply ta tap X. That's bullshit. You don't simply tap X. This is a complicated system. So, the way this works is... This bird is scaled to how much you suck or do not suck. So, if you start tapping X like a madman right in the beginning, right? By the end of the course, the bird will adjust and be going super fucking fast because you've been going so fast. And it's pretty difficult to beat it because your fucking thumb's tired and you got to tap as fast as you were in the beginning, if not faster. But if you go slow the entire time and then haul ass at the end, it's all dumb and it, it gets stuck on your slowness and it can't readjust fast enough and you could just fly past it. So the trick is to basically stay close because if you fall too far behind, you will fail. But just try and remain like right behind it. And then once you hit some sort of uh, like point then mash the X button like I use this point right here where I'm coming out of the cave Like I just saw Mumbo's hut and now I'm coming down So now I start really mashing the X button and you don't even have to be like that good at it I, I would just kind of slowly hitting it like uh, you know Decent speed again, so I didn't fail But now I'm really just kind of hitting it as fast as I can without freaking out like without having a full-blown Mario Party fit Where I'm jumping up and down and mashing the controller and like turning my face into a tomato I'm not doing that. I'm just casually hitting the X button and just casually striding the victory. D dude, it makes a world of difference. If you don't do that, you will have to race this bird over and over again. And now, you will race her again in a, in a, in a later level. And I believe the course is longer, so your, your thumb just gets tired even more. And uh, she's way fucking faster. And the same the same rule applies there. It's a super easy workaround, and if you know about it, that's no problem. But if you don't know that, these jigsaws are some of the most fucking pain in the ass to get in the entire game. But now you don't gotta worry about it, because Michael's got you covered, baby! I showed you the ropes, okay? I showed you how it's done. Boosh. Now, before I hop back on, because if you hop back on, that's how you win the third Cheeto page in this level. I'm going to run on into the train station, the train being fixed because I came here with Mumbo last time. Totally forgot to do this, but that's fine. Uh, you have to come in this entrance, because there's a few different entrances you can get onto this train from. You have to jump through that little sidecar, and then just hop on into the furnace, and boom, this is the boss fight of this level. Going back to what I was saying 
in part one and part two. There are a lot of boss fights. I, I think, at this point, I think there's one... I say at this point, I mean, it's only level two, but... Since there's one at level two, I think there's a boss in every single level, which is really cool. They're not particularly difficult, but even that aside, it's just always a thing I enjoy in video games, where... Especially video games that have very distinctive and different levels. Like, you get the level, you get a boss. You beat the boss, he falls over, eh, you know? And, I mean, even in Zelda, the bosses were never really difficult, but it was just fun that you knew at the end of every dungeon you were going to fight a boss. This guy's super easy. All you got to do is stay on these little pads, because if you're if you're running around down there, the, the coal will burn your feetsies. And you just got to shoot the shit out of him before the timer runs out on the left. And he's got a little health... Not meter, but he's got numbered health on the right, which just drops like crazy. Look at this, like crazy. Look at this. He's he's really easy as shit, and it's it's pretty gruesome how his body parts just break off. You don't even give a shit. You have no sympathy whatsoever, and you shouldn't. This guy's trying to burn your feetsies. Oh god. Whoa. Okay, chill. Oh whoa. Oh oh. Hey. Oh, shoot him in the ass. Shoot him in the ass. If you shoot him in the ass, it should be worth double points. It's like a critical hit. Oh, yeah. Eggs in the butt are super effective. So his head got blasted off. He's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. The difference is, he was still fucking talking. How the hell are you managing that? You ain't got no fucking head, fool. Oh, where you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? He's getting away. That's where he's going. God damn it. Take your lumps. Oh, I got burned. I got burned in. Get over here. There you go. Woo! With only 89 seconds remaining, and he's still talking. He's talking out of the hole where his fucking head used to be. Don't fucking... I don't... I'll take a bite of pizza of that. Bam! Another jigsaw from Michael. He's tearing through this shit. By the way, since I just did this, this part's probably gonna be like 30 minutes long. I don't give a shit. I'm not padding this video out, okay? This is going to be the most skilled part in this entire full play. Seeing as how I just did this all. The next part, don't worry. I'm going to go right back to not knowing what the fuck I'm doing and wandering around forever. Booze, honey goon piece in there. Yeah, blew your fucking mind, didn't I? Um, but, you know, this part, I'm beating this shit. I'm eating my fucking pizza. I'm going home, okay? God damn it. So you just hop back in here, and then you race her back. She definitely goes faster this time. You can't tap X nearly as slow as you did the last time, because, as I said, she'll just get ahead of you, and you won't win. Just make sure you do not pass her. As long as you can see her in front of you, but you're not passing her, you should be fine. And if you're not, you suck, because, look, it works fine for me, loser. Not exactly sure where to start mashing the X button, since... Obviously, the landmarks are kind of irrelevant because we're going backwards this way, or on this track. My fucking brain don't work good, but it's it's really not difficult. When you just feel like you're kind of close to the end, don't wait till the very last second because you do need some time to catch up, but as long as you don't start mashing the X button in the first 10, 15 seconds, you should be fine. So once I come out of here, I'll cross a bridge and I'll start hitting it now. So you can clearly see the jerk in motion that Banjo has employed. This is a technique that I myself have mastered, and I feel like he borrows it from me. He, you know, Banjo knows most of what he does, thanks to my tutelage, and as he should. Oh, you're getting fucking smoked. You're getting smoked, bird. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I can't even see her. Look at her. God, I didn't know about this as a kid. Nope. Took me fucking forever to do this shit. The, uh, the, like I said, the second time you race this chick, she is so fucking fast. I'd be, I'd fucking be standing up, tapping, tap, tap, tapping, tapping my little finger out. Tapping my little thingy out. No, shut the hell up. I don't care. She does, in fact, go to the clouds, though, because that's the level that she's in that I'm talking about. I think it's one of the last levels in the game, actually. Okay, so this conveniently drops you off back where you started, next to this boulder, which is a whole nother shitstorm in here. There's three things in this level that, if you fuck up, is going to take you forever to do. Two of them are that minecart race, 
And the third is uh, this deal right here, which isn't difficult, but if you don't know what the hell you're doing, uh, you'll just have to do it over and over again, which just takes forever. This is the second ability of the level. I think there's there's only two, so this is... I said it thick. I know. I know. I beat the law. I just beat it. Um, it's a really shitty ability, and, it's, and you can only use it when you're in this little first-person mode. It's that. Yep, I actually just learned that. Just hitting the X button. But, believe it or not, you use that ability right now! It's like they taught it to you because they knew you needed it. So some sentient voice just starts speaking to you from somewhere, even though there's no one around. It's okay. Get in the mine, take care of those sticks of dynamite. But, you can't shoot the dynamite because if you shoot the dynamite, you blow the fuck up and you fail and you instantly reset and you gotta do it all over again. So, take his advice and don't shoot the fucking dynamite. It's very similar to the first level where you had to run around and collect the tokens. Except this time you gotta run around and whack the fucking dynamite. Once you hit the first one, a timer is gonna start. And I think it's like 200 seconds. It's plenty of fucking time, but if you get lost in this thing, you can screw yourself. So I'm gonna charge and then completely just miss him. It's not really the best uh, weapon or the most accurate and yeah, okay, there we go. Alright. So the only real strategy for this is um, kind of clear each floor at a time. Although, the, the only really difference in floors is, is this top floor. Because you start on the second floor, there's a first floor, and then there's kind of a basement area. Make sure you get three up top before you go down, because that will screw you. This one in the corner here, especially, if you drop down, it's kind of, there's, it's, there's a lot more mazes downstairs. It's way more intricate and everything's kind of connected whereas upstairs all there are are those three there's the one in the main room the one off to the side and then the one up there that i just got from that point on pretty much just fucking run down here and try and just oh my god try and hit it first of all there we go try and just go in a circular pattern around the level doesn't really matter which direction and dip into any green lit rooms as you pass them because it's usually a dead-ended area with Sticks of dynamite in it. Ow, you prick. Those guys will whack you. You don't need to kill them. It's kind of a waste of time. But if you need health, you can fucking murder them. Yeehaw. Okay, just heading over here. Oh, what are you doing? Boo, that guy was right in the way. I was just like, I'm not having it. I'm not ha Come here! I'm not having it! There you go. There you go. Okay, kill this guy. Kill this guy. Five more, five more. Doing great on time here. So, like, this green area, this probably leads to a dead end area. I'm wrong. It didn't. Never mind. But I did run past the dude down here. Don't do that. That's stupid. But this green area probably does. Come on, don't fucking be wrong twice. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Save my credibility on that one. Alright. So, we have 85 seconds just to kill two more. And I believe at least one of them... Is in the middle area. Oh, there's one. Yep. Okay, got one guy. Let's see if I can fuck this up. 75 seconds, one left. He's down here somewhere. Okay, okay, clear. Any side rooms? Side rooms? Can I go that way? You in there? Don't see you in there. You down here? Okay. Back here? Oh, went that way already. So this is the part where I'm starting to sweat now because there's one somewhere in a side room that I missed. 50 seconds left. No, nope, not down that hallway. Up here. No. Nope. Fuck me in the butt. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Come on. 40 seconds. One more. Where the hell are you? Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this. Come on. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. God damn it. Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh, yo. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Woo! Whew. I was getting nervous there for a second. Or was I? Much obliged to you, good sir. All right. I may have I may have fucked that up the first time in the last video. You'll never know. I did. And I did complain about the same thing. Uh, so you do it, and you win. There's nothing else you can do. The timer goes away once you clear it. But they still make you walk back to the beginning. It's not hard to find the beginning, but why do I gotta walk back? This is punishment for the for the slaughter, for the genocide on those dynamite sticks? Maybe, but I don't know why I'm being punished. The game made me do it. You should just put me back at the fucking beginning. Going back to Zelda, 
You don't gotta walk to the beginning of the fucking dungeon when you beat it. You step in the little portal and you get your ass warped back. And then you're done. But Banjo-Tooie says no. That's fine. Here's the exit. So those three things there, that third three things, are really the biggest pain in the ass in this level. And we fucking did them on the first try, guys. Good job. Get that fucking jigsaw piece. Get that piece. Get that piece. But a lamp. Where the fuck am I going? What are you doing? Okay. All right. So I need one more uh, honeycomb piece. I don't know how many jigsaw pieces I still need. Let's check the game. Okay, so all I need in this level now, I told you I'd fucking blaze through it, is one more honeycomb piece and one more jigsaw, because the other two, as I mentioned, I can't get, and then I'll hit Mumba Wumba, I guess, and transform into the thing, because I might as well do it while I remember where the fuck it is, because I'll sure as shit forget later. Um, a great way to get your bearings together in these levels or use the warp pad. Like, even if it's not necessarily too far away, because I know I know this whole level's pretty small, I don't know where the fuck the crushing shed is. I, I don't know how to get there. I know if I fucking warp there and I'm standing right next to it, I kind of know where to go from there, but getting there is hard. So the... I mean, it's hard for my dumb brain. You might find it easier. But using those warp pads are really convenient, again, as markers. Like, oh... I should go to the crusher and then turn around. Like, I know this little gas thing is right across the, the river from the crusher. Okay, I believe it's this rock right here, if memory serves, which it does. So now we just need to get one more jigsaw piece so we're all good. Got it all done. Man, I really, uh, this is really going to be a short part. People are going to be pissed off. I don't give a shit. Fuck you, I did it twice. Okay. And the final one is actually also right near the crusher, if I believe. So this was blocked by one of those TNT things, and then I blowed it up last time. Oh, I, yeah, I think this is where I fucking drowned last time, I'm pretty sure, because I swam around like an asshole. So I didn't find it, but there is a jigsaw piece down here. There is another area that I got to last time, the, the power area, where there was a room that I swore I hadn't gone in yet, and it's true, I hadn't. I need an ability in order to get the jigsaw over there. And then, I think... The final jigsaw, which you can see out in the open, you need the spring shoes to get. So I can't get that one either. Just a word of advice, uh, it really only matters if you have low health here, but kill these dudes before you pick up the, the jiggy, because once you do, it's going to get dark. I mean, if you pick it up and run away, it, it doesn't really fucking matter, but if you kind of hang around like, I got it, I did it, and you have one health left, and you're like, all right, but oh, shit, they can just come at you in the night. And fucking rip your butthole apart. Your brown fucking blue backpack, yellow pants wearing butthole. Look at how fucking fast he swims. Kyle Phelps ain't got shit on this Baron Bird. Shout out to Olympic medal winner, uh, Kyle Phelps. He's my personal hero. And, uh, if, you, if he's your hero too, hashtag Kyle Phelps 2012. Because that was the year. The year of the Olympics. Where he won them all. So that does it for this level, as far as collecting everything. As I said, I'll go transform at uh, Wumba's. And then I'll just end the video, because I can't leave. But that'll save me the trouble of leaving, where I was saying, you know, you can't leave as a transformation, so you gotta fucking come back and retransform yourself in order to leave the level, which is total bullshit. Because in the first game, you could just walk out and it Fucking Christ. In the first game, you just walk out and it wear off. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it 90 times this part. I swear to God. I'm gonna. I learn. I learned my lesson. Okay. I got caught up in the moment one time. One time. We all make mistakes. I'm gonna sit still. I'm not touching my controller. Okay. Now I'm touching my controller. Jesus. Uh. Okay. Yeah. It's right near the entry. Head to the entry. Go left. And that should be where the the track was where I need to blow this shit up on is the fuel storage. That's what it is. F word. Have you? Hang on. I mean, how, how long have we been going? This is like 30 minutes, right? This is almost like a normal fucking video. Wow, look at that. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, put my headphones on. Okay, there we go. 30 minutes. And that's counting the two minutes that I went to go answer the door for the Domino's guy, which I'm totally leaving in. I, I don't, I, it's probably the most boring start to a video ever. 
Like, hey guys, welcome to- Oh, hang on, I'll be right back. And then it's two minutes of me being gone. Maybe I'll cut it down a little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Not a lot, though. You'll know I cut it down already, I guess, because you're watching the video, but... I only cut it down a little bit, guys. I don't want, you know, all 500 of you turning the video off right away. Holy shit, take longer. Alright! So I did that. What? You want me to keep playing? What the fuck you want me to do? Oh, fuck. Alright. I guess, uh... Oh! Oh, God! I guess I could go open World 4. But there's really absolutely no fucking reason, because... I'm gonna start outside when the next time I load the game. I'm gonna start outside anyway, and just open it from there. So I'm not gonna, well, I'm not gonna open World 4. I'm just gonna say, guess what, bitch? Part 3, 30 fucking minutes! Oh! Woohoo! How do you like them apples? I like them a lot. I like them almost as much as I liked Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Finished it. Fun fact, Season 5, not on Netflix. So if you're gonna watch it, just find Season 5 somewhere else, because it's not fucking there. Also started watching Attack on Titan. Fucking good show. Lindsay and I watched two episodes. Then she left. I watched 17 episodes this morning without her. So, uh, gonna have to rewatch those. But... That about does it. Uh, I feel like I wanted to mention something else that I didn't mention. I'll think of it right after I stop the video. But I don't give a shit. It's almost midnight. And I'm gonna fucking go home now. And this bit, this video better fucking work or else I just don't give a shit. I just, I, 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 don't, I, I got nothing left. Okay, I got, I, 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 got, I got nothing left. Fooled you. Did you see my little backflip I did? That was the fooled you backflip. So I was gonna end the video there, and in fact I did, went home, did all that. It's a new day for me. That's it's true. Today's Sunday. New day, new video. Uh same day, same video for you though, unless you paused it halfway through and then came back another day, which I guess you could do because the video is probably gonna be kind of long. So I finished it and it was about 30 minutes, and I said nay. It should be longer than that, right? This is already gonna take forever. I can't, I can't be putting out short parts like that. The people just won't have it. So this is what we're doing. Another fucking, uh, another part. In a part. Part 3.5. The, the little part. Actually, get in the hole, man. Actually, this part will probably be longer than the last one, but that's okay. So I'm gonna grab a few things that I missed on the overworld here. I just grabbed the, uh, that one treble clef that I missed. That is musical term. Is it a musical term? Well, it's a musical note, and it's called that, which is a term, so I don't know. Grab this gingy, hiding in the dark. Uh, not to be confused with a ginger. He's a gingy. Jinjo. Jinjo! Oh, yeah, we're just, uh, we're, we're moving along here. Ooh. So the next level is Witchy World, which is pretty cool. It's a nice themed level, as are all of the levels. Because that's the game. They put themes in the levels. But this one's pretty hardcore because it's an amusement park, so there's a bunch of shit going on at once. It's also where the game starts to get convoluted in a sense that you have to hit, like, 10 million fucking buttons to unlock everything. I will uh, further demonstrate when I get there. Bust out my fire eggs. Fire my fire eggs. Oh, my God. Did you see that? That shot was amazing. Fucking dead on. Eagle eye. But it's a bird. Kazooie Eye over here. Okay, Y button. There we go. That opens up the path to the next world. Onward, shall we? Ooh. This is exciting. For me. If it's not exciting for you, I don't care. Welcome to Pine Grove. Uh, the door's already open because we opened it last part. If you remember, I had enough jigs to, uh, to pop that bitch open. Uh, these eggs right here, vital. Um, don't fucking go into the level without them because you won't... You won't be able to get shit. Yeah! When I was always a kid, whenever I got these grenade eggs, I always, uh, they always reminded me of, you know those water balloons that look like grenades? They're little green grenade looking things and you fill them up and it's like, you know, like you got a water balloon, but wait! You got a water balloon and a fucking grenade! Those were the coolest. Uh, we rarely got those because regular water balloons were cheaper. Probably by like eight fucking cents. But, you know, you don't you don't make those decisions when you're a child. You get which water balloons you're given. But, man, I love damn grenade ones. 
So we got a little bit of stuff. Now let's just fucking pop on into the world. There's a few more things I can get in the overworld, but I still can't get one big upgrade, so I'm gonna wait until I can get that, and then I'll get a few things into overworld. But for now, holy shit. Let's just do this level. This woman has enormous bosoms. And they're just fucking, they're bouncing. They're look at them bounce. They're mesmerizing. So she's missing her kids. You gotta run around and grab, I think, three kids to fucking run in a muck. And you can only get two of them because I think the third one you need an ability that, uh, believe it or not, you don't get in this level. Yeah, can you can you imagine that? Yeah, that's what they do. So there's a lot of switches like this in this level where you gotta unlock stuff like that burger. I guess that guy was just. <coughs> fucking living inside of it with the burgers but now he's free there's tons of doors and areas you have to unlock and it's a real pain in the ass as far as the transformations go ah fuck fucking side note here so this is like the the honeycomb that fills your health up except it's random so you're gonna get wherever it stops oh I got lucky I got lucky you can you can really fuck yourself over with that one and get one health but anyway there's a lot of gates like this in this section that are locked. To open them, gaboosh. But, oh god, I'm fucking thrown up in my own mouth. Mm. But, some of them are hard to tell what you can and cannot blow up. So, watch the video and I will show you. You have to run around and do a lot of fucking things with the Wumba magic in this level. And... It sucks ass if you bother transforming into her before you get, uh, before you get all the stuff open. Because, like, you turn into a money van or some shit this level, and as you can see, you just drive over here and you go beep beep, and that's when she'll open the, or the door will open. But you can't get in here if you didn't blow up the door. So, it makes sense to run around this level first and kind of blast all the doors off, just so you can kind of do everything at once. And again, I'm sure I won't. I'll miss something, because I've missed something in every fucking video where I'm gonna have to transform more than once. But, I'll fucking bitch about that when I do it, which will be later, and I'll complain about it. And there's one open. So this is the only kind of side section. This is the entrance here, that's the entrance warp pad. There's the side section, that's Area 51. And then once you go up here near the big top, it's just a big circle. So if you, if you just clear each section and keep going in a circle, you can get everything unlocked. As far as these jackpot machines go, or these slot machines, each one has a ticket that you'll need. I think you get exactly enough. You only get four, I want to say? They will respawn, but they only drop the ticket uh, one time. So, same thing. If you just run around in a circle, they should be, I think, all in this area, like right on this path. And you can get all four tickets. Get them early. Get them quick. Run over here and grab these foods when you need them. I think you only need one of each. This guy will give you a burger while he scratches his asshole and fucking coughs all over the food. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not eating it. Okay. Give me, give me the burger. Give me the burger, Al. These are for the fucking kids. Oh, you want some fries? Yeah, I want some fries. Too bad he doesn't have fries. So why the fuck, why the fuck would you... You're a son of a bitch. Uh, again, so the food are for the kids. Because kids need food, right? You gotta feed them. More than just once, which is crazy. I figured, you know, wah, wah, baby, bottle, done forever. No, you gotta do it like every day. Sometimes multiple times a day. Oh, that was an amazing shot. I think the grenades are the only way to blow those things up. So, fucking shoot grenades at them. And stand back so you don't hit yourself. That's bad. Ooh, grab this pad over here. Yeah, oh yeah. Give me that pad. Mm. I think there's a kid over here somewhere. You in the corner? Hey, no? Bastard. There's an ability right here, though. What that? Teach me that shit! Oh, boy. Airborne egg aiming. All this does is give you the ability to go first person when you're flying, which you'll need to get at least one or two jiggies in this level. Because that's how... Oh, you got fucking wrecked, dipshit. That's what you get. Fucking asshole. Yeah, don't forget your hat. You stupid, stupid hat-wearing bitch. All right, there's another mumbo thing. And I think there's another inside this thing. I'm not sure exactly where Mumbo is in this level. I'm pretty sure Wumba's out here somewhere. But Mumbo's in another section. You dig? Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going around in a circle. I'm not even going in a circle at all. I realize I went against my own advice. And I've been kind of just fucking running all willy-nilly. But, eh. Eh. Dive of death. 
fucking love this game. As you can see, the themes are really... Or the levels are starting to get more and more elaborate as far as themes go and shit. It's fun! The Inferno. <sighs> so, climbing on up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the music drops once you get this, this high. Like, halfway there. Because there's no music in outer space. Okay, so you wanna... Holy shit, camera! There's no angle where it's perfectly straight. So you're gonna have to hit up and slightly to the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh! No, oh, oh my god. Okay, there we go. And then gently, gently... Oh! Get the fucking things. This is going good so far. So far. Aces, baby. Aces! Do I sound any better? Let me know in the comment section if I sound better or worse than the last video. Because, uh, obviously my commentary is not better, it's awful. But, as I said, it's a day later. If I sound better, great. If I don't, I'm gonna go to the doctors, because I might die. Woo, it's dark. Watch the teeth. Watch the teeth. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. Oh yeah, so this dude flies around, you can kinda just wait for him. Oh, I guess there's multiple dudes flying around. But, if you get to a dark area and he's not nearby, I think you can just fire a fire egg. Fire, fire, egg. And get by. Head on here. Hey, the fucking prison cell. Ah, oh, shit. See, god damn it. I hope this kid wants a burger. Do you want a burger? Okay. Nothing? Seriously? How about I kick you in the ass? How was that? Yeah, that's what I thought, asshole. Nice. Alright, so that kid, kick him in the ass, he'll run back. I think another one you need a burger, and then another one you need the fries. But as I said, one of them, you'll need another ability to get back. Now, these doors will fuck you. And this is what I'm talking about, the game being a son of a bitch. So you get the grenade eggs, and a lot of things in this level, you blow up with the grenade eggs. So your first thought might be, not to use invincibility, to blast it with a grenade egg. Doesn't fucking work. You see that? Look at that. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. But, if you go first person and shoot the fucking lock, then it fucking works. Right? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Why would you do that? Also, if you do that before you approach the cage like I just did, you just skip a boring fucking conversation between Gobi and yourself that you don't have to have now because I just busted him out. Uh, but that's, that's, make sure you do that. You gotta aim and then fucking shoot the lock. There you go. That one inch makes a difference, apparently. This dude, uh, you need to save for a later level. But you can, you can do it now, so do it now! Do it! Now! Well, look, that didn't count, but that counted. It's a pretty, it's a pretty wide explosion. It should really take out the whole door, but it doesn't. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. So that, uh, dinosaur won't leave until you bring in the fucking train. So, of course, you have to do all the shit with the train and have it prepped and ready to go, which thankfully we already have. If you haven't, well, you got a lot of work cut out for you, but we still need to bring the train into the station before that asshole will get on. There you go. So you can shoot a fire egg and it'll... Light up your path a little bit, just to avoid smacking the teeth. Uh, oh. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Ooh, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy and bear. I'm gonna shimmy my way to a Cheeto without a care in the world. We have seven Cheeto pages now. We unlocked the first cheat earlier in this video. I was gonna say last video, but I forget it. It's the same video. I forget it. it, it. I don't know when you unlock the second page. I think all the first cheat does is it doubles your, it doubles your feathers. The red feathers being kind of useless, but the gold feathers are useful that you can carry twice as many as does. What? Oh, god damn it. Alright, so I have the fucking food. Oh, okay, never mind. As long as I don't leave this, as long as I don't leave this level, the food will still be with me. Oh, and there's another asshole in here. What do you want? Okay. I got a burger. Tell me you need burger. Yes! Excellent! The fries is the thing that I didn't get. I am getting fucking lucky here. Yes, I'll give you the food. This is the guy that, believe it or not, won't walk back. Can you believe it? Look at him. Yeah, he's fucking full, all right. My tummy hurts. So we don't have the ability yet to carry his fat ass back. So, uh, leave him in the train station for now, I guess. Head on over here. I also think in this level is when they start introducing Minjos, I want to say they're called. Whoa! Oh god. Oh! Fucking frame rate! 
Get your shit together. God damn it. If this game freezes on me, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be a little bit upset. But there's these things called Minjos, which look and sound exactly like Jinjos. They even call for help. But once you get near them, they attack you. Oh, God. Oh, that startled the shit out of me. They attack you with uh, some sort of electricity. Kind of like those little green things, like the slimes in Legend of Zelda. So you got to hit them long range or else they'll zap you. Also, whack this thing for it whacks you. There you go, asshole. Again, another thing, just as a kid, in not in Banjo-Tooie, but in Banjo-Kazooie, maybe the first time I played the game, or maybe a huge majority of the first time I played the game, I didn't even know you could kill those things on the wall. I would always, like, move left, wait till they popped out, move right, wait for their attack to end, and then scurry the fuck across and try, and try to get away. And I always got hit. Like, all the time. And then I realized you can actually kill those fucking things. Boy, I felt foolish. So now that we push that switch... I push the switch, right? I wasn't paying attention. I push the switch, do the thing, you head over to the sign, and then you can call the train into the area. Which, of course, triggers a fucking cutscene that you can't skip. And then the dinosaur will run all up on that train, jump on the train, he'll sit there, do nothing. Then when you get to the level where you need the fucking dinosaur, you need to do some more shit, call the train to that level, then the dinosaur get off the fucking train. And it goes on and on and on. But so far, so good. We haven't hit a dead end yet. <laughs> Give it time. Um, if you're wondering how I'm doing so well, this is well for me, trust me. Uh, every time since part one, because part one was a goddamn disaster, I've kind of been running around the game each time before I record for 30 minutes or so, just to get a lay of the land, because the first hour, the first 30 minutes to an hour, it's just so fucking confusing. There's so many things you have to do, and again, case in point, part one, it's just, it's just me being fucking stupid and, and like, running in circles for fucking 50 minutes until I figure out what the hell to do. So I'm trying to avoid that a little bit. It does suck, because it makes my recordings take even fucking longer. You think a fucking hour video, hour and 20 minute video takes long enough. Try counting the fucking hour and a half I was playing the game before I started recording, you son of a bitch. Not you, the game. Oh, and also you, you son of a bitch. So I think that clears me with those two sections for now. As you saw, the dinosaur ran all up on there. I need to get the fries still for the, for the third kid. Or I should say, he'll be the second kid, but the other one not going. I think I, I, think I killed this dude already. Oh, God! Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, boosh. Yeah, I did kill that guy. Not gonna get it, because it's random, and I don't want to fuck with it. Oh, there's the fries. There's the fries. Okay, let's run on back here. That's a convenient fucking spot. Most things are not that convenient in this game. Even the burger thing was convenient. It was right at the start, but it wasn't behind the burger stand. And once again, some guy's living inside the stand until I freed him. And he's whining about it. I fucking set you free, dude. You were trapped inside a fucking fry box. But yeah, bitch about it some more. Just give me my goddamn french fries. Free of charge. So I could feed some bears with it. No, not me. Another bear. It's a polar bear, dickhead. Fucking, some people are so goddamn smarmy sometimes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut your goddamn face. <sighs> okay. I don't think I've unlocked everything yet, as far as the Dutch perimeter, perimeter goes. This should be the last one, I'm assuming, because I didn't get the notes next to him yet. Oh, yeah! Okay, so we got all four tickies. That's good. Uh, oh, okay. Get this to go over here. This one, this one's bullshit. Again, this is another one. Took me forever to figure this out as a kid. So this is one of those bell things. You slam it, and the objective is to get the thing all the way up top to ring the bell. Now, in real life, the way this works is, the harder you hit it, the higher it goes. So you'd think you'd have to go really high up in the air and, like, ground pound it to get it up there. Sort of true. Sort of true. Observe. Now, you do a regular ground pound. Goes up a little bit, right? You got 20 seconds. Do another one. Doesn't do shit. What you now have to do is the, the drill bill, the bill drill or whatever. Charge it up. Goes up again. And then for the third one, now you don't have to do this in any particular order. You have to fucking shoot it with a grenade. Seriously? How the fuck would I figure that out? I mean, I guess I did figure it out. But still, it's total bullshit. I, I, the first time I played this game ever, I spent an hour and a half here. Fucking 
like climbing to the top of the level and trying to slam it because that's how it works in real life don't make a thing in a video game based on a thing in real life and not have it be the way it works in real life in any way shape or form that's bullshit you don't you don't go up you don't step up to the thing and hit it three different ways you fucking hit it in one way as hard as you can that's how it works what the fuck but there you go i think that's the first jiggy we got in this level i wasn't paying attention i don't know Save this white Jinjo. Apparently the only fucking white Jinjo in the game. So you'll see what happens now when you collect every Jinjo. Oh, I hope to God you don't have to watch this cutscene. But it doesn't really matter. Because most of them, there's there's multiple you have to collect. Not one guy. This, I mean, this guy's sitting pretty. He's got a whole fucking house to, to himself. Well, we saved the, the, the white Jinjo family house. Not much of a family, you fucking loner. But... This Jiggy that he'll give you counts towards the overworld Jiggies, and thankfully you don't even have to collect it. So I don't have to go back there, I don't have to talk to his stupid ass. I just save him, I get the Jiggy, done, deal. So, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Another musical note, just fucking being crafty, hiding this shit behind the door. Can't go into there yet, because I need an ability that I haven't got, but I know where it is. So far I think I just have the one? Yeah, I have the one. Right, go left here. This is, I believe, where Wumba is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna transform yet until I'm sure I've unlocked all the gates, because as I was saying, that's a waste of time. Like you're a waste of time. It's cool. Your parents told me they were like, God, he's just a waste of time, and I said, No, no, he's fi he's fine. He's fine. There's a learning curve. They didn't want you. I want you. I want you to watch my video. Not, I don't like want you. Want you. I just. Want somebody to love? I need somebody to okay. Got a nice little safe. Uh, what is this fucking called? Like, uh, what is this? Tro trolley? Tram? Tram? Thing? What the hell is this called? Gondola? It's kind of like a gondola. Hop on that switch right there. Yeah, now we're riding with style. Now we're riding with style. Get on this shit. Grunty generously tells you how to work cable car. Cable car. That's what I was thinking. They had these things in Six Flags, Great Adventure. That's the one in New Jersey. It's called Great Adventure. Except it wasn't actually just a piece of wood. There was actually a car I rode in. That's why it's called a cable car. Goddamn thing was always out of order. Every time. It gets you from one end of the park to the other. Every time it was out of order. But you know what? If it's out of order, that's fine. Don't want to die suspended hundreds of feet above the park. And you know what? I haven't. I've never died going to Six Flags Great Adventure. So my record is... It's clean so far. I'm... I'm 100%. 100%. Oh, shit. Oh, God. That was fun. I fell a little bit, but... I'll get wrecked. Get wrecked. How the fuck do I get over there? Climb back up here. I think there's a grip grab or something I can use to get over there. Okay. Don't don't make a f don't make a fucking scene, Banjo. You make me look bad. Oh, there it is. In a rare twist, there's actually no enemies on this thing, which is shocking because there's enemies on almost every grip grab section in the game. But not this one. Ugh. Hop in this tiny little baby switch. That'll that'll put that thing right there. So basically, that saves you the trouble of doing what I just did. The only way to get over there was to do what I just did, where, you know, to ride the cable car across. So now, you can do it whatever you want. I think you can charge the shit. There you go. Push that button. Push that button. Oh, look at that. Remember? Remember earlier when I did the fucking... The TNT thing? And I... And I fucking set this on its merry way or whatever? Well, it was for this level. It was for this level. Still can't do it, though. So if I walk back there, that leads actually back to the fuel depot in Glitter Gulch Mine. But to the best of my knowledge, there's no reason to go back there. This is for a minigame that you can't play yet. Because you still need Mumbo to turn on the power or something. But we'll be getting to that. We'll be getting to that soon. Oh, did I get that one? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Where is the fucking guy? I could have swore there was a dude over here. There's a there's a bear in a corner somewhere. And that's probably the little bastard that needs the fries. Oh, dude, notes? Notes? Oh my god, I'd love music. I love it. There's a sign in the corner. Normally I don't read the signs, but it's hidden, so I'll read it. What's it say? Looking for the kids, you might find them in the Inferno Star Spinner, Crazy Castle, or Dodgems. What the fuck does that mean? Is it random? Shit. I guess it's random. Fuck. 
So all I need to find at this point is the is the kid with that needs the fries. The fry kid. It's kind of like Stoop Kid from Hey Arnold. Stoop Kid never leaves a stoop. Stoop Kid never leaves a stoop, or he won't leave a stoop, or something. More like Stoop Aid Kid. <laughs> Okay, so this is the split pad, if you recall from the earlier videos, where I got to the pad and the guy's like, you don't have the fucking moves, now I got the moves! So you can split them up, you can split them up. I don't know the advantage to splitting them up right here. I'm not gonna do it just yet, I'm sure that'll bite me in the ass. Fuck. I don't know if I still, uh, like, blasted all the doors. I think I have. I'm thinking at this point I could probably transform into the into the van and get everything, but I'm not positive, guys. I'm not positive, so I'm gonna hold off on that for a momento. Uno moment, uno momento. Well, I think that means one moment, because I've heard it on TV and stuff. You fuck! I don't know Spanish at all. Ask Lindsay; she knows Spanish. Don't ask Ray; doesn't know Spanish at all. Crazy. Crazy. I'm sure his parents very disappointed in him. Sorry, Ray. You know, I'm just saying it. Sorry to, you know, let you know this way. But seriously, thanks for letting me use the controller. Still using it. I'm not taking any risks after, after part one. Oh my god, look at that. There's a second orange, Jinjo. Boosh. So there's, there's another overworld jiggy for me, which is great. Doesn't help for this level. But it helps in the long run. Oh, I'm sliding. I'm sliding. Uh, I guess I'll head this way. Now that I have the airborne ability, you're able to get the jiggy, at least one jiggy in here. There's two jiggies inside this bouncy castle. I think one, you, oh, this is, this is motherfucker. Watch this. So I'm going to save him. Bullshit. Bullshit. It's a minjo. It's a minjo. Eat grenade, bitch. Or just run away. And then eat grenade, bitch. Oh, he got fucking wrecked. He got fucking wrecked. There's an ability right there, but I can't get it yet, because you actually just need to be Banjo after you do the split pad. Blech. There's another honeycomb. Is that my second one? Is that my second one in the level? Oh, look at that. So now I have enough to get another health increase, which I'll not get this part. Oh, shit. I need to actually go in there. I'm stupid. Wait. I need to split first, then go in there, I think. Yes. No? Yes. Okay. Get on there. Oh shit! Oh, dude, what? What? Hatch the future? Separate Banjo and Kazooie, or have Eggy hatch is stop and swap egg? Those are two pretty fucking different things. I don't know why they're sharing an achievement. So now that they're apart, you can split them up, and the the thing you really use that for is like pressing switches simultaneously. A lot of times you need to have each fucker stand on a switch, so you got to split them up. And now that you just have Banjo, head back over here, get the final ability of the level. It's a really shitty ability. It's just something you have for Banjo to swing your backpack, and that's why it's called Pack Whack. Pack Whack is not a masturbation term. Uh, until now. Now people are gonna be saying it. Dude, I was fucking whacking my pack. I was whacking my pack all night long. Mm, oh yeah. Here's the whack pack. Wait, wait, where is it? Do it. There it is. It's slow as shit, too. But it does give you a little bit of floating in, in midair, kind of like the Kazooie Peck does. Pack whack! Do it! There we go. You got whacked. He looks so weird without his backpack. Watch. Look at bear back! Bear back! Bear back! Bear back. Bear? When you get on these things, this gives you the ability to then switch to the other person. So if I hit B, now I switch to Kazoozers. This is actually pretty great, but she, because she runs at full speed all the time and doesn't even make that <laughs> noise that everyone loves just so much, just so much. Hop on there and get the pulp master two pulp. I don't know if there's a one. I hope there isn't a one because I don't know where the hell it is if there is one. Nope, it looks like it's uh, pretty full to me. Hey. Fucking doing the bouncy castle, making it bounce tonight. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna finish this level in this part, but we're making a dent, and we should definitely finish ne finish next part because you know, fucking good guy Michael coming into work on a Sunday, uh, he just wants you to finish. Okay, I'm doing it for your pleasure. What the hell is the point of coming up here? There's fucking nothing up here. 
Oh, I bet there's a fucking Jiggy appears up here at some point for something. So, when you inflate this castle, there's two Jiggies you can get. I think one, you need to go in with both Banjo and Kazooie, and you need that airborne egg thing, because it's like a flying thing. Yeah, they gotta need them both to go through that door. And then this door is just Kazooie, which is why I haven't rejoined with Banjo yet. Uh, once again, I believe this was a mini game that Ray and I played in the episode of Versus. So they pretty much just took all the mini games from the single player and made them into into multiplayer games. And you just gotta run around and jump through some fucking hoop. Ah, oh, why did I say yes? God damn it! <sighs> I should have said no. I should have said no. It's fucking Banjo Kazooie. I know. Blues three, greens two, reds one. That's how it works. It's like the f fire hot. Water cold. Well, not necessarily. Ice cold. Dry ice, super cold. You burn your hand. Careful. I have no idea how many points I have to get in order to get this this jiggy. Hopefully not a lot. Oh, God. Uh, oh, blue. 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 Oh, it's also so much easier when you're not racing against another person. Especially when that person's Ray, who's a son of a bitch, you know, for every fucking game he's played ever fucking guy almost beat me. I'm the Banjo-Kazooie guy, and he almost whooped my ass. I don't even know if he's ever played the fucking games. Get through the hoop. Get through the hoop. There you go. There you go. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't even go through that one, but if the game wants to give it to me, that's fine. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, get the blue one. Get the fuck the reds. Reds are bullshit. Reds equal bullshit. I say as I jump through a red. No! Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Hopefully I don't need, like, 50. I guess it looks like if you just jump near the damn thing, you get points, too. Although if I do need 50... Oh, I got 50! What did I get? Did I do enough? No, you can't have! You scored enough points! I so fucking did, bitch! Alright, there's another Jiggy. And looks like old Michael was right, guessing that it would put it up top. No, why the fuck would I want to play again? Get the fuck out of my face. Do do. Boo. I forget how to recombine with Banjo. I know you can just, like, jump back, like, run up to him and touch him, and that recombines you. I don't know if that's the only way to do it, though. But that's what I'll do for now, because I know he's right in here, so, well, you know, well, I fuck around, really. I just, I just guy stand them there. Come here, boy. And I'm in your backpack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think he's doing while he's just waiting there? Banjo. He's probably just hanging out, thinking about stuff. Thinking about life. I wonder where Kazooie is, Banjo thought, while he stood in this dark room by himself. So now that we have the both of them, and we have the airborne egg ability or whatever, go back in and do dumb mini game on to right. Which is the mini game that Ray beat the shit out of me in. Because my guy was stuck in a fucking corner eating a wall. Holy shit, to score 50 points. Is that what she said last time? Because I got exactly 50. That's crazy. I'm not going to hear the rules, because the rules are going to be exactly the fucking same as the other one. Except this is balloons, I think, so you got to shoot the balloons. Yeah. Yeah, it's balloons. It's balloons. Uh, I don't think you have a limit, so there's really no reason to ever stop firing at this point. Just blasting shit. Just blasting shit. There's a... Oh, yeah, okay. If you hold the, the bumpers... You can turn faster, I think. Is that a lie? Well, hang on, let me... Ah, oh, fuck! I can just hold down the right trigger. Okay. Don't keep pressing it, just hold it down. Blue shit! Oh, here we go. Blue city, yo. Blue, blue city, yo. No, no, no! Ah! Oh, blue city, just fucking... No, 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 no! Fuck, I missed all the blues. I missed all the blues. Oh, I'm fucking this one up. Definitely gonna have to redo this one. Oh, get the greens. Get the greens. Where are... Where's the shit? Where's the shit? Where's the shit? Where it at? Where it at? This is this is seizure inducing. What the hell is happening? What is going on here? Oh fuck fuck fuck! Get it get it get it! Oh there we go! Crushing that score! Crushing it! I think I had 60 points there. Points make prizes. Fuck me! Another achievement. Score 60 fucking points! I didn't even know that was an achievement. Didn't even know. Didn't even know that was an achievement. <coughs> I still gotta kill people with. With Mumbo's wand. I'll do that. Don't be suckered. I don't know what that means. Blah, blah, blah. This is all serious. You click. Oh, are you shitting me? Win a colossal kickball final. The worst scorers rule at this game. So you should be good at it. I don't know where I do this. If that's back in the first level? 
Well, son of a bitch. Anyway, figure that out later. No, I don't want to try again. That should pop a second jig. I say should. I wasn't. I, I went and I checked the achievement. I'll fly my ass out of here. That should put two jiggies on the roof of this fucking thing. I am making Witchy World my fucking bitch. More like bitchy world. Oh! That's that's the power of a good night's sleep. Went home, took a bunch of NyQuil, as I said I would. Passed the fuck out. I did wake up early this morning, and then I was kind of comatose. I was in and out of naps all goddamn day. I finally woke up and said, No! It's time. It's time for time. That is the fastest I've ever gotten two jiggies at once. You saw it. Everybody saw it. Oh, shit. Is there another way to go? Oh, that's the pump room. Okay. All right. So I think that clears the bouncy castle, which is blowing my mind that we're actually making progress. I guess I think I'll do, like, one more thing, and then we'll wrap this part up. Because it's getting fucking long. Remember? I included the thing that I filmed yesterday. We can't have everything at once, can we? Or can we? I'll still need to find that little prick that needs the fucking fries. I think everything is open? Let's just say fuck it and try and go find Wumba. Well, I, know, I mean, not find her. I mean, I know who she is. She's, she's right here. But hopefully this won't bone me. So I'm going to drive around this whole level and try and get shit. Some of these doors open, like, things for new areas. Wow, that was hard to fucking find. Um, and some of them just have shit inside them, like Jinjos or Clebble, fucking Clebble Trefs. Or Treble Clefs, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I got, oh, I got it. I got Globo. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Um, but at least one or two of the doors unlock areas that you need to go through. Like, I know one area uh, you need to get into to get to Mumbo. And that's why we haven't seen him yet. Yeah, he's in this level. He's hanging out. Wumba called this van. No shit. I hate to break it to you, Wumba. You did not invent the word van. You didn't even in invent vans as a thing. There's a button here. There you go. So when you drive up these things, you hit the X button, you give it a little beep beep, and that opens the door. <laughs> and it conveniently puts me down here. Oh, right. I was going to say, why didn't I just drive off? I, I guess you do need this to get back up, because you can't really climb as this fucking thing, believe it or not. Okay. This thing moves fast as shit, which is the nicest thing about it. Beep 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 beep. Oh, no. Beep 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 beep. I don't remember which areas have this thing, so I'll just kind of drive around. This is the one that I was talking about where you need to get uh, to Mumbo. It's kind of it's kind of misleading when it says pay here because you need to back the van up into it like that and pay to get in because all the other van things, it's just a van door. So you may overlook that. Don't overlook it. That's how you get in the Inferno. I'll pop inside real quick because I think there's actually a van door inside. Oh, never mind. I'm going to pop inside real quick because the game's going to... No, it's not going to fucking show me. It was just showing me that it was open. Yeah, I saw... There should be one more pad in here, though, that will let me teleport to Mum... Uh, to, yeah, to Mumbo's hut faster. Oh, shit. There is lava. There is lava. Hence the inferno. Do you understand now? What they... Oh, God! I almost drove in. What they were going for? Can I... Oh, I should be able to get that. Oh, 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 oh. oh. This, thing, this thing turns a little, a little silly. A little silly. Another slip pad there. I wonder if I can just drive in the people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can. Just run them the fuck over. GOG Burge! <coughs> that makes two this level. That's math. Oh, I can jump. Fuck, I'm stupid. I should be able to get the warp pad. As long as I can activate warp pads with this thing, which hopefully I can. Oh, I can even activate that thing. Though that's probably a timer. I'm gonna go out of limb and say it's a timer, because it's at the top of big spiral. Wait for it. Fuck! Oh! Oh! Fucking no! Oh, oh, I'm in the fire. I'm in the fire, but I'm still going. Don't worry about it. There we go. Oh shit! Okay, so that's it's not a timer. That's a press. That's a switch that has to remain depressed. <laughs> that's so sad. Just take medication. So I'm pretty sure you need to split them, put banjo on that thing, then take Kazooie and run her ass up to the top. But as far as his van goes, I think that's all I can do in here. Got the got the war pad, which is pretty nice. I'll just go back to the entry so I can I can find all the doors that I need. I don't think there's one inside Area 51. Let's find out. I was wrong. Look at that. I'm always wrong. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Beep beep. Jinjo! God, such a pain in the ass to get almost everything and then realize you need to go back and transform again. 
It's bullshit. It's ruining it. It's ruining the game. Steroids are. Steroids are ruining the game. The game of baseball, okay? Let's have a fair competition for once in our lives, guys, okay? Everybody's juicing. Everybody's juicing nowadays. Horse shit. Or, or horse, horse steroids. Because those are the most powerful ones. Oh! Did I head over here yet? I did. I opened that thing. Feel like there's at least one or two more doors. Because I know there is. Is it this way? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Star spinner my ass. More like door opening upper. Beep beep. Treble clef. Alright, I think that's the last van. Area. Thing. That I need to open with this. Probably not. Where is this last fucking kid? He said he might be inside the Dodgems game, which I don't know what the fuck that is. I haven't unlocked it yet. So, uh, hopefully he is in the Dodgems game. No. Uh -uh. Back over here. Oh, that's back to the start. All right. So I think that's it for this van. I think. I'm sure it isn't because I'm a fucking imbecile. But for now, we'll just assume that it is. So, actually, before I go, might as well... Okay, open the goddamn door. I'm gonna transform into Mumbo and try and get the three Mumbo things that I need. Then I won't have to do it next time. I'll just pop in, see what I need to get, run around, collect everything. It'll be great. It'll be great. We'll go right into the fourth level. Everybody's gonna love it. Your mom's gonna love it. Fun for all ages. Look at that. I didn't even run back in the pond like a fucking idiot. Or the pool. Sorry, the magic pool. Not a pond. Outside Mumbo's skull. It sounded like I said mumbles, which is funny because I mumbled it. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know where the thing is, though. Fuck. I hope your dude's in here. Where's your Where's your magic dude? Because I don't know where the hell he is. Son of a bitch. That's a really difficult honeycomb piece to find. I'm glad they just laid it out for me. I believe that's the third one in this level. Really? He's not around? God damn it. I bet I need the fucking van, right? That's, that's just the way it is. That's this game. I probably need the van to go fucking find it. Usually, it's either right inside the hut, or it's right outside the hut some, somewhere. <sighs> so I'll give this a little once over, see if I can't find it. I won't, and then I'll end the video. Like, for real this time. Not fake end and then film another fucking part on Monday morning. Oh, thank God. Thank God. And actually, before I even do that, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna- Oh! Oh! I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna try and get that jiggy up top. Because we already have Burr Burr Kazooie here, and we can do the split pad. Just split! Just one of them splits! Just split! Where the hell is it? Split pad! Split pad, where you at? There you are. There you are. Oh! Clue, mind the gap. Mind the gap. Oh, shit! Fucking perfect! Yes! God damn! I fucking lucked out! Somebody is looking down on me. They're making up for the last part, or earlier in this part, when I got fucked and I had to redo everything. Somebody, somebody said, Michael, I'm sorry we burned you. We're gonna, we're gonna really, we're really gonna take care of you this part. And that's what they're doing for me. That's what they're doing, and I appreciate that, guys. I really appreciate that. I think whatever pad you start on, you go to that, that person. It's so like I hit B on the banjo pad, I start default with banjo. If I did it on the kazooie pad, I would be kazooie. So now run him over here, as I predicted. Whenever it's sparkly, that means, you know, you can you can transfer on it. Take Kazoo's. Oh, shit. Oh, ow. Oh, God, no! Kazooie, no! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. I don't think really anything major is gonna happen, but I'm totally gonna die. I also don't know why I need the running shoes. I don't know if that's just because I can't run up this thing without them, but... I I mean, I guess I'll find out in a second. Ugh. They also last forever. Ah, fucking shit! I jumped, but I, like, ate the wall a little bit, so he kind of fucked himself. <sighs> okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Accidents happen, accidents happen. Thankfully, I'm standing right here. Let's try it again. This time, Kazooie's gonna have full health. That, that really sucks when you split them up. If you notice, their health significantly drops. Kazooie's only got, only got four. I don't know if that's dependent on you getting the upgrades. Like, I already got my health upgraded twice. I don't know if it would be any lower if I didn't do that, or if it's just always four when you, when you split. 
Ugh, fuck you, you bastard. Ugh. Okay, so you this guy. Make him a wee wee, make him a wee wee scared, my wee wee's getting scared. Okay, two more hits, two more hits, two more hits. Oh! Okay, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Oh, do the fucking thing. There you go. Boy, oh, yo, 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 Oh, fucking shit. Kazooie could not take that fall. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Boop. I got the jiggy, so who cares? Where's Mumbus? Where's Mumbus Maximus Erectus? He's over here. Fucking grab this shit anyway. Made that trip shorter, didn't it? Oh, I fucking still got it? Look at this. I'm gonna blow Mumbo's mind. Ready? Watch this. Run up here. I'm too fast. I'm too fast. I'm too fast. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? He don't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He just doesn't know. Okay, I'll just talk to him now. Welcome again. Okay, come on. Throw the thing in the thing. There we go. So there's two. There's there's I believe three things Mumbo's got to do. One in Area 51, which I said is the thing right near the entrance. And then one outside the saucer area, or like in the outside area near the saucer, and then one inside the area, which activates the mini game. Even Mumbo's got a shitload of health. This guy's rocking fucking six. And also, there's an achievement for killing like 20 guys with Mumbo's magic. So I'll start with this dude. Though <laughs> it's, it carries over between either kill 20 guys with Mumbo's magic or when you're two of the Wumba transformations. And one of them's a fucking dinosaur, so it's pretty easy to kill people as a baby dinosaur. You're a baby dinosaur because dinosaurs just aren't as cute as baby dinosaurs, obviously. Is this Space Zone? Is this what I wanted? I don't know, let's find out. Where are you, where are you at? You over here? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, there's Mumbo number one. This does something. Oh, the Dodgem Dome. There you go, I mentioned that. Oh, fuck. Yep, you definitely need the van for something. I think I think this area is going to be a fucking van minigame, if I'm not mistaken. It's okay. It's okay. I'll fucking do it next time. I'm not going to do it now. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure if you run in there, it's a, it's a fucking a minivan minigame. Double the mini, singular on the van. But that's fine. I'll do it next time. Head inside the star spinner. Spin that star! Spin it! There's another fucking filthy dirty Minjo in here. Who will minge the shit out of you. It minges me off for sure. Guy got wrecked. Guy got wrecked. See that guy over there? No, there's no guy. Yeah, there he is. That green Jinjo? It's bullshit. He's a fucking Minjo. The thing that sucks about that about that is they whistle and sound exactly like the Jinjos. So not only do they fool you and you run over and get your ass kicked. But if you forget that he's there, or you don't realize that there's a Minjo in the area, you think there's a Jinjo nearby. I don't know if they ever put two of them next to each other. I think they actually do. So, that's kind of the reason to kill the Minjos. Because if you still hear someone cheering, that means there's an actual Jinjo into vicinity that you still have to collect. I think there's one in here, actually. Again, not gonna look now, because I'm just Mumbo. So there's two pads done. Two Mumbus pads. This baby's up and running. We can pop back in here and get some get some chiggies with the banter, with the kazooer. The second half of part three is going swimmingly. This is incredible. Oh, God. This is incredible. Hey, is there a warp pad somewhere? Did I go in there? I went in there, right? It's where I got the treble clef. Or as I said early, earlier, the club, the, the clubble tref. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. World entry and exit. Warp on over there. These warps really just fucking save your life. Just makes things so much faster. And as I said, not just faster, but it's an easy way to remember where shit is. Like, I remembered this guy was right here, and I was gonna zap the shit out of him. How you like that, dead man? Oh, yeah, it's like Highlander. You suck up their life. Suck it right up. Okay, come on. Fucking today. All right, I lied. I'm gonna I'm gonna go check out that last section with uh, with Wumba's magic just to get it over with. This video. God, this video's already running long again. It's already running long again. I'm it's, I'm crazy, man. That's why. I'm stupid. Did I get that one in the area 51? Let me run over. Let me run over. 
Hang on. Oh my god, just turn the fucking power on and be done with it! So now that saucer's ready to go. Still can't get a fucking jiggy yet from it. That was the shit you had to set up in the previous fucking level and all that bullshit. Now, what you have to do is get over there and finally you can play it, but it's a fucking minigame. That's actually pretty goddamn challenging, if I recall. It's another, I think it's like a rail shooter where you, where you fly around on the saucer and you gotta blast the shit out of stuff and get the points. And if I remember, getting the points for the jiggy is kind of a pain in the ass. Since we have all the fast travels, let me just get this shit over with. Run back in here, grab the Baron Bird, switch back over, go to Wumba, fucking get the van, head on over to the the saucer thing for the Dodgems game. If I don't need Wumba for the Dodgems game, I'm gonna feel foolish. I probably should have checked it out first, but eh. You know. God. I'm freaking out. Oh my god. So I had no energy because I'm sick and I felt like shit. I drank two or th three? I think I had three 12 ounce cans of Red Bull. It's just blowing my fucking mind right now. If I wasn't sick, I'd, I'd be bouncing off the fucking ceiling. Lionel Richie style. I mean, he was just dancing up there, not bouncing, but I would be full-blown bounce. I fucking teleported the space zone by accident. It's okay. It's okay. Made a mistake. Go to Wumba's. Go to Wumba's. There you go. Alright, we'll try one more time with this van. See if we... See if we can't be done with it, for sure. I don't know that I'm not done with it. I just keep talking about it, but I'm fucking dumb. So let me check it out. Don't drive back into the fucking pool. Oh, God. It's even, even knowing that, it's scary. Because he's just got such a wide fucking turn. Can I t Oh, yeah, I can teleport. Was it the fucking space zone? Is that, is that what I did? It was the space zone, wasn't it? I just asked that question for Mumbo. Now I'm asking the question for Wumbo. It's Michael the questions guy. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just asking questions. Okay, here it is. Driving here. Do I need the van? Do I need the van? I don't need the fucking van, do I? Oh, I do need the van! Thank God. Thank God. Woo! Fucking brain. Brain lucked out on that one. Alright. Although, I don't know if you play it now with the van, or you just needed to pay to get it open. There's three fucking stages to it? Seriously? Ugh. Only open to the stupid bear and bird. Alright, so I'm gonna hope that that's all I needed to do, and I can finish the rest with them. Uh, if not, I'll be using this van again, but that's about it. The real ending of part three. Hopefully it was a little more of a, you know, I don't know, a video. Because it's longer. I'm fucking doing donuts, look at this shit!